Hello everyone, this is Pop Partsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.13.0 server. So, what you do is you go to popparty.com, and on here there's a bit of information available and such about different plans and things that you can choose. I'm going to choose the smallest plan, the micro plan. I'm going to say get started here. It's for 10 players, and that will be more than enough for the example here of what I'm showing you guys. So, you've got your little board here. Now, this says server name. It's Minecraft server on the bottom left here. I'm actually going to delete that and I'm going to change it over to uh, let's see pop potsy server okay I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna say continue on the bottom right all right so once you're on this screen you're gonna scroll down a bit and I'm gonna create an account because I don't actually have one here so I'm gonna do my first name here and put pop potsy now you don't actually have to fill in most of this information uh, you can add it if you want to for your account but you don't really need it so the next thing you need is your email of course you need your email address that's absolutely mandatory so email would be pop potsy uh, the tester okay it worked at gmail Dot com. So this is the email I'm going to be using for this. And also a password you have to create, of course. And I'm going to do the tester as the password. And I will be deleting this account when the video is over. So you're not going to be able to use this password, you sneaky ones. All right. I'm going to click on create account. I think I did everything right here, but we'll see. Oh, last name. Okay, last name is also Pot Potsy. So it looks like you need both a last name and a first name in order to actually order the server. I'm going to click create account. Hopefully I got everything. Email, name. <gasps> Oh no, because, okay, all right, if you enter it wrong, if you miss something, it makes you redo the password. So you got to retype that in the tester. And the tester, normally for a normal person, this will take about 10 seconds. But obviously, I'm taking quite a bit. Okay, let's see. Work, please work. All right, not now. I'm not going to save the password for now. Okay, perfect. So now I want to say check out and pay. We're just about done setting up the server and it will be created very quickly. It'll be instant process at the end here. And you'll get an email with your IP and everything. I'm going to show you guys the whole process though, so don't worry. All right, so new payment details. So if you click on the select one here, you have a credit card option or you can do a PayPal option by using PayPal payments standard on the right. So I'm going to use PayPal for this video just to make it easier to show you guys. I'm going to say pay and complete order and it should take you to this page. I'm going to click subscribe. All right, so just telling you how much it's going to cost and everything. I'm going to click login on the bottom right there of PayPal. It should take you to a PayPal login screen. Oh, security challenge. Oh no, security. All right, I'm going to get past this. We're going to get past this to T5. A C K. All right, continue. I hope it doesn't give you guys these. These are freaky. All right, there we go. All right, I'm not going to show you this part. Once you've logged into your PayPal account, it's going to go ahead and confirm everything with you, and you're going to say agree and pay on the bottom right there of the screen. Once you've tapped that, everything should be good. You should purchase what's successful. So now what you're going to do is you're going to switch over to your email tab here. Now I've got a Gmail account here. That Make sure it's the account you use to sign up for the Pop Potsy account, okay? You had to make sure when we were over here and we signed up and we typed my, my first and last name and my email, make sure you log into that email address. Okay, you go back to your email. There we go. All right, so we have a welcome to Pop Potsy Hosting. So we've got a nice little panel here. Now on the left, we don't quite have our IP address email yet. So I'm going to refresh. Now this process usually takes about 60 seconds, but it really depends on the time. So sometimes it takes up to two minutes. Sometimes it takes 30 seconds. It's very quick though. No matter what, you will not be waiting more than a couple of minutes at the max. It goes very quickly. I'm going to keep refreshing. It should be any second now we should get our service email. I don't think it'll take much longer. It's only been a little a bit oh there's another billing billing email oh perfect there it is all right sales so new service activated so here we go P service has been approved there we go we've got our IP and our port as well as our login so let's go ahead and take the IP here now we're gonna have to paste that into Minecraft pocket editions I'm so I'm gonna go ahead and do play new and the server adding I'm gonna say name is the new server all right for 0.13.0 now the IP address I'm gonna click out okay 162 oops shoot I wasn't supposed to go all the way back all right let's go um 162.254.254.14716 now the port is 19214 one oops not here okay <laughs> next one 192 uh, one four was it? One one nine two one four. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna say done. Add server. Now back here, it's not gonna ping us online yet because we haven't actually turned it on from our login. So we have a control panel we can go into. Now to do that, you see you have your multi-craft URL 
And you need your password though. It generates you a random password to be secure for your login. You can change it yourself though later if you'd like. But the email comes with one. So I'm trying to click it. I'm trying to click it so we can copy it and paste it into the to the panel. All right, right there. Copy. Now click on the Multicraft link so we can go log in here to mcb.popartsy.com. Now your name is going to be the email you use, which mine is popartsy, the tester at gmail.com all right perfect now the password is what we just copied so i'm going to click paste and i'm going to say log in to my control panel not now i do not want this password saved and perfect now we're logged in now to turn it on you simply click that start button there so i'm going to tap it on my screen here and you should see it go green boom really fast so instantly turns the server on so now i'm going to swap back over to minecraft pocket edition here i'm going to click the play button and you will see our servers online. That's how fast it is. Very instant. 0 0.13.0. 0. 0 out of 10 players are online. So I'm going to click the server. And it should connect very quickly. Oh, look at that. We've been on an iPad generation 1. So it's, it's actually pretty snappy for you. And you can see this was totally instant to set up. The server's completely up and running. It only took a couple of minutes max. Now here we are. So Pop Party joined the game. So breaking blocks and everything will be very, very smooth. And it will be instant. So you can see it just, it just flows. Boom. Just like that. Now, of course, your friends can join. You can play. You can talk. I'm going to say, I'm going to say hi. This, this is an old iPad, so it's really slow. But let's type this in. Hi with the exclamation point. Boom. Like you can see, it works very quickly, very smooth. When you're playing with your friends, even, it's pretty sweet. Now, the other thing is the updates of the servers come whenever they're ready, whenever the developers put them out. The server hosting puts them out immediately. So you'll always be on those up-to-date server versions. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're looking to make a 0.13.0 server, this is definitely the way to do it. Thank you guys again, and I will see you next time with more Minecraft Pocket Edition.